Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up WX Widgets, which is a cross-platform GUI library that we're going to install under Windows. If you want to refer to any other operating systems that this library supports, just go to the website indicated above, which is wxwidgets.org, and you can learn more about this cross-platform library. For starters, we're going to show you how to set up the latest version of Visual Studio, which right now is uh, Visual Studio 2019. To begin with, what we're going to do is click Download Now. Now, if you read the documentation on here, they're going to tell you not to download it from GitHub directly. They prefer that you download the source code from here. If you would like to download it and set it up directly with GitHub, you're going to have to refer to the documentation on here, which will tell you how to do that. The other thing that's possible is to download just the binaries and set it up that way, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do what they recommend, which is building directly from the current version of the source. So to do that, what I want you to do for starters is click this link here to download the zip file that contains everything that you're going to need to install and get this set up under Windows. Okay, now once you've downloaded that file, what I want you to do is create a directory where we're going to install the SDK. And my on my machine, I installed it in Drive D Development SDK, and I made a folder called WX Widgets. Once I once you do that, unzip that file into this directory, and it'll create everything that you see here that we're going to need in order to build and configure the project from this point forward. After you unzip it in here, what you want to do is scroll down to the very latest solution file, which is WX underbar VC16. That SLN. That's the version that we want for Visual Studio 2019 or later. And you want to open that up in Visual Studio 2019. Once you've opened that solution in Visual Studio, what you want to do is set your options up here depending on how you want to build. Do you want to build for static linking debug or static linking release, or do you want to build the DLL or release versions? I'm going to go with the debug and the release versions for statically linking. The second thing you want to do is choose Win32 or X64. I'm building for X64. Once you've made those two choices, the only thing you need to do is go under Build and Build Solution. It should build without any errors and without any other configuration. After you've done that, what you want to do is go down to Search and search for ENV to bring up the uh, system properties window. And then once you're in there, what you want to do is click environment variables. And then you want to add a new environment variable called WXWIN, and then set it equal to the path where you installed the SDK. In my case, again, it was D colon backslash development, backslash SDK, backslash WX widgets. And then you go ahead and just click OK out of this. I'm not going to do that now because I've already created that environment variable. Once we've done that, let's close the open solution and we'll create a project that we can test with to make sure that everything is installed properly. To do that, what we want to do is go to File, New, Project. And for now, what we want to do is select Windows Desktop Application, C++. So we're using C++, all platforms, all project types, and we're going to choose Windows Desktop Application. Click Next. And I'm going to save mine in development. I'm just going to call it test project. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and click create. Once you've done that, we really don't need anything in here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make sure that it's clean and start out with a blank project. To do that, we're going to go into the header files. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to go into the resource files, delete all of that. And we're going to go into the source files, and we're going to delete the source file. OK, now we're going to add some code that we can just use to test to make sure that the library is installed properly. I'm going to include the source code in the description below so that you can copy it. I'm not really going to go over anything that's in the source code for now. It's just boilerplate code for now just to make sure that we test everything. In my first video where I start going over how to use WX widgets, I'll get into the code a little bit more deep. But for now, I'm just going to paste it in there so that we can test to make sure that everything's building and everything is installed properly. So 
let's go ahead, let's add a new class, and I'm just gonna call it C app. Probably a good idea that you call it C app also, so that the code that you paste, everything will work properly. Inside of C app.h, we're gonna replace this code with this, okay? And again, I'm gonna paste this code down below. Now, we're gonna go into the, into the CPP file, and we're gonna replace that code with this. Now we're gonna go back, I'm gonna add another class, we're gonna call this one C main. And just click okay, we're gonna accept the defaults. In the C main header file, we're gonna paste in this code. And in the source file, we're gonna paste in the following code. Okay, now before we compile, we're gonna to have to go ahead and set some project properties up so that it'll compile properly. So we wanna right click on our project, select properties. And the first thing we wanna do is under C++, C++ pre-compiled headers, make sure that it says we are not using pre-compiled headers. You could use them in the future, but for now, we're not gonna do it in this example. We turn them off. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go under general, C++ C++ general, and for additional include directories, you want to paste the following in. Now, if you remember, we made this macro before called WXWIN. That was to simplify the path. We have that environment variable. So in order to access the environment variable, we use dollar sign, and we put that environment variable inside parentheses. So we have dollar sign WXWIN inside parentheses, backslash include, backslash MSBC. And then after that, we have a semicolon, and then we're gonna add the second include directory, which is dollar sign WX1 in parentheses backslash include. After we do that, the next thing we wanna do is go under linker and under general, and we gotta do the same thing here under additional include directories for the library. So we have the same thing again, dollar sign WX1 in parentheses backslash lib backslash VC under bar X64 under bar lib. Now that's because I built the 64-bit version of the static link libraries. If you built the 32-bit version, then it's gonna be VC under bar lib. You're not gonna have the X64 in there. You'll see that if you go in lib directory, you'll see what the compiler built. Now that we have that thing set up, all we do is click apply, click okay, and we're ready to build and we shouldn't get any errors. Okay, when we run this application, it's to create a window with one button, a text field, a list box, and then it's gonna handle the button being clicked. You can go into the text box, you're gonna be able to type something in there, and it's just gonna automatically add it to the list box when you click the uh, button above it. That's it for our test application. We should now be able to build this, and everything should build properly with no errors. Now run the app in the debugger. Here's our application. I'm gonna go in here and just type test. And I'm gonna click the click me button and here comes our message box that popped up. And also it added whatever I typed in here down into the list box. And that's pretty much it folks. That's how you, that's how you install WX widgets in Visual Studio 2019. And that's how you build the source for the library. And this is a basic test app to make sure that everything works. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it as short and to the point as possible. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and please click like below. In my next video, I'm going to go ahead and start diving into how to use WX widgets in a lot more detail. But I wanted to make sure I got the installation process and test process out of the way. So hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.